economics essay questions can be tricky, even for the overprepared. After watching this video, you will have all the knowledge you need to write a striking A plus economics essay. This guide is divided into two parts. In part one, we will teach you how to read the essay question. This part is often neglected by students and the consequences can be costly. In part two, we will discuss the best writing techniques to write an A plus essay. Part one, reading the essay question. There are four steps that should be applied before writing your essay. Step one, underline the content words. Content words cover the whole of the subject area of the syllabus. Their aim is to make clear what is the focus of the question and what you are required to write about. Before diving into your essay, it is important to identify the content words given in the question. More importantly, make sure that you clearly understand these keywords. Let's take the following question for example. Indirect taxes reduce consumer surplus and should therefore never be imposed in a mixed economy. Discuss this view. 12. Marks. Here the three content words are, indirect taxes, consumer surplus and mixed economy. Always refer back to these keywords in your essay. It would be irrelevant to write a whole page about the features of a mixed economy, as this is not asked in the question. Step 2. Underline command words. The command words not only indicate what to do, but often how much detail to go into. Here the command word is discuss. This means that you must give the important arguments for and against the topic, ideally with a conclusion. Examination questions never contain questions such as, write all you know about or write as much as you can remember about. Step 3. Look for extra requirements. The word and is particularly important in a requirement. It is very easy to read the first part of a requirement and miss out on a further task later on. In this question, the first requirement is to explain how indirect taxes reduce consumer surplus. The second requirement is to discuss whether indirect taxes should never be imposed in a mixed economy. Step 4. Look at the number of marks. The command words should give a good idea of how much work is needed, but the number of marks will also help. In these questions, the number of marks allocated is 12. It is important to practice questions to get an idea of how long certain questions take. Now that you have all the knowledge required to correctly read the essay question, let's move to part 2. Writing the essay. Step 1. Make a plan. You'll improve your chances of writing a good answer by reading the question carefully and then planning your answer. We suggest that you start by making notes as a rough sketch for your answer. Spend around five minutes doing this. Then elaborate your notes into your answer using headings and paragraphs and picking out the main points from the question. The following is an extract from an examiner's report. Some candidates started badly by providing an incorrect formula and others wasted time by providing information on everything they had learned about topic. It was disappointing that many candidates provided material that was not relevant to the question set, and they scored poorly as a result. This is what might happen if you don't plan your essay properly. Step 2. Structure your essay. Presenting your essay in a structured way will help you score higher marks. In the first paragraph, Define your keywords and give the examiner an indication about how you will apply your knowledge to the requirements of the question. In the middle paragraphs put forward your arguments. Don't forget that most questions require an argument and a counterargument. Remember to include both sides of the argument. In the last paragraph, conclude your essay. It is important to conclude an argumentative question with a yes or no followed by an opinion about your view. Step 3. Split the answer up wherever possible. Use space, separate out points in paragraphs. Again, this not only makes it easier to identify the points for the examiner, but also makes it easy to identify what points have already been made. If multiple requirements are given, 
It's usually a good idea to separate answers into different headings, this makes it clear to the examiner that all parts of the requirement have been addressed. Step 4. Include diagrams and examples. Diagrams and examples will add more depth to your essay and show the examiner that you have understood the topics. This will gain you some precious marks. Don't forget to label and explain your diagrams. Congratulations, now you have all the knowledge needed to write an a economics essay. Feel free to screenshot these screens and refer back to them when writing your next economics essay. If you wish to read the essay example we've used in this video, check out our link below to read the full essay. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.